This is my crossing the hundredth subscriber video that I wanted to make. Um, now, you may be thinking, well, a hundred subscribers, that's not many, but it's a big deal to me. And I wanted to thank the first hundred people that have come through and taken the time to listen and comment, like, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, giving me that really valuable feedback. Um, you people are the early adopters. Uh, you have uncynically come through and actually come to my aid and helping me out. And I want to say thank you for that. Apparently crossing into the crossing over the hundred subs, hundredth subscriber puts you in the top five percent of YouTube's most popular channels. Um, I didn't realize the number would be so low for something like that, but apparently it's true. So that was a target for me, and I thought, you know, I'll just try and get to 100 subscribers and see where I go from there. When I when I signed up, when I got the channel going and signed up my immediate family, and I was up to about eight or nine, and then, you know, with a bit of harassment, for, for, you know, via my Facebook page, I got that number up to um, something like eight, 18, you know. And I, at that point, I just thought, well, now who else? You know, who else is gonna who else is going to take any interest? It seemed like a really difficult task, and it and it and it has been. Uh, but here I am. I mean, across this hundred barrier, and it means a lot to me. So I wanted to do something different, and I hope it's something that you'll enjoy. I just was going to go through about five songs that have probably been at the heart of the of what has inspired the songs I've been posting up. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about each song and then you can listen to that song and maybe then you'll want to hear the songs that they've inspired. I, I hope so. It would be really interesting to see if you can hear that. Um, I'd just like it if you enjoyed the songs that I play you and maybe introduce you to songs you've never heard before um, or maybe you've heard them loads of times and just enjoy hearing them again. So anyway I'm going to wrap this up and crack on. Um, Thank you very, very much. Your support means a lot to me. Uh, it really does. So along, along with playing out these songs live at the small venues I have been lately and getting back into performing again, which I haven't done for a long time, your support, your positivity has kept me going, has given me insights into what works for me and what doesn't. Um, so I can't stress that enough. Thank you very, very much. Please do keep coming by and I hope I can keep turning out material that you're enjoying. In the meantime, let's talk about the stuff that uh, inspired those songs. The first artist I want to play you is Bob Dylan and the, and the song of his, Don't Think Twice. Now, there are lots of other songs by Bob Dylan I could have played you. In fact, I like, I like others of his, you know, more than this one, but this one was uh, notable to me because of a reaction I had driving to work one morning. It just came on and it, it did sound like a voice, you know, obviously from another era, but also from, from, a, from another, from an, from, an, from an era with very different qualities, different principles. And you know what, it gave, I had a real emotional reaction to it. I kind of just wanted that. I wanted more of that in the world. And um, this song, it is important because it's inspired probably two or three of the songs that I've I've put up on YouTube so far. Um, my th this would be a good thing, which you can. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can, is good thing, which I, I'll put the link in. And you can have a check of that. Um, and also, uh, I thought there was another one. Oh yeah, easier on you, which is also was also loosely inspired by it as well. Again, I'll put the link in there. You can check it out. Um, now, what I like about Bob is he's not one for conforming or being predictable, and and that's what I really want to try and do in my own lyrics. You know, try and try and write songs that 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 talk about subjects that everybody talks about, but try and do it from a different angle. Um, and what I like about this song is the way that it's a, it's a unrequited love sort of song, but it's but it's an unusually apathetic farewell. The genius of this writing is that on one level it sells as a really simple premise, um, 
but it, it gives away the, the depth and complexity of the relationship in, in, in really subtle, interesting ways. Uh, you know, Bob is a master of nuance, of devastating storytelling. Um, he was really young when he wrote this, you know, he's half my age. I don't want to say his age because then you'll know exactly how old I am. The guitar, the guitar sound is terrific, I love the sound of this guitar. Probably ancient strings on there, people didn't change the strings unless they broke. Uh, John Hammond produced it and recorded it at Columbia Studios in New York, 62 to 63. And uh, that guitar sounds full of character. There's some talk about whether Bob actually played the guitar or whether a session musician did it. I don't really care, it sounded great. Um, and of course, what Bob does so well is he sells the song. I mean, yeah, I hope I can do that too. That's a real quality I strive to, to keep real in my own songs. Uh, the ability to sell a song, and by that I mean, you know, really put the lyric across in a way that you know you feel like you feel like those lyrics are meaningful and um, and they draw you back to the song. Okay, let's just li let's listen to the song. This is Bob Dylan. Don't think twice. <laughs> 